Democratic President Michael D. Higgins to um, formally just plant the tree in commemoration of Carrie Beaton. May I say what a, a wonderful experience this has been for Sabina and I. And something has been said already that I very much agree with. And I, conscious as I am that this is, I think, the first day of your new chairman of Wicklow County Council, would that every local authority in the country had a place like this. I think it would make such a huge difference. And uh, it's one of probably, as we're starting out now from the Auras again, and I was so pleased to get near the sea again, but uh, I think listening to these stories, stories of people who've had their participation in life for one reason or another disrupted, and the manner in which they had been able not just to get out of the immediate space in which they found themselves, but actually to discover a new space and go on and be full of hope and joy. It has been such a positive experience. And I, there's such great credit to you, to those who had the idea originally, people like Aubrey and people all who are helping me, and all the different people in the private sector who are assisting, and very particularly the local state Wicklow. And I think it's something that Wicklow can be proud of. I think it is just to say that you have this magnificent example available for all of the people who want to use it all over. I hope that when county managers meet, and I hope that when general councils or county councillors meet, that they will take this example and say, could we not be doing something in our own way, something uh, like this? I w in my previous life, I, I was a practicing sociologist. I'm very interested in addiction. I have visited many centers, and there are different forms of addiction, and it's sinister and subtle, the way it happens and manifests itself, and not easy. But I do have to say, as president, we have, as a society, an obligation to look at what is, in fact, creating the opportunities for addiction. I'm a lifetime supporter of sport, and during COVID, my heart broke regular times to think that sport being saturated with gambling advertisements, which are so dangerous, and have done so much damage to families and have done so much damage to individuals. My hope is that you know that as a, this is wonderful, but as a society we take responsibility for making the atmosphere in which people live their lives, do their work, enjoy their sport, as free as possible for unnecessary pressure that is incapable of causing so much destruction. I say this as somebody who was a former minister for broadcasting myself. It's a concern of mine. I would think very often this summer, watching a piece of sport, I switched off because yet again there was going to be another break with yet another, uh, another advertisement and totally minimal tokenistic invitations to be responsible. Be responsible after you've been put on the slide into it's not good enough. But this is a great day. This is the exact opposite. People having great lives, making their own lives. And what is wonderful as well is to see as we moved through the respect everyone has for each other. This, quite frankly, in order I pay tribute to you, he was right, uh, Ryan was right. This is Wicklow at its best, it's Ireland at its best, so Tris Liam live, and thank you all for the reception you gave Sabine and I, and I wish you all well uh, in all of your lives in every respect. Barbanak.